A disturbing new Pentagon report indicates sexual assault at three prestigious U.S. military academies spiked 50 percent in the past school year. An estimated 747 West Point and Air Force Academy cadets and Naval Academy midshipmen told an anonymous survey they were sexually assaulted in the last academic year. Now, that's up from 507 three years ago. The survey also found worsening problems at the Air Force Academy, despite changes put in place after our reporting exposed troubling patterns. Defense Department officials say they are troubled and disheartened by the surge in sexual harassment and violence at U.S. military service academies. According to a new survey released Thursday, 50 percent of the women and 16 percent of the men enrolled at the military, Air Force and Naval academies were sexually harassed. Another 16 percent of the women and 2 percent of the men say they were sexually assaulted. There is a cultural rot. It's not just a few bad apples. Congresswoman Jackie Speer chairs the House Subcommittee on Military Personnel. I think some heads have to roll. If all of a sudden these cadets are going to be kicked out and their families are going to be expected to pay uh, $100,000 in tuition, maybe behavior will change. At the Air Force Academy, approximately 221 cadets reported they were sexually assaulted, up from 150 two years ago. In 2017, we spoke to more than a dozen current and former Air Force Academy cadets who said they were retaliated against after reporting their assaults. You go there because you want to protect your country and they, they don't protect you. Do you regret reporting the assault? Oh, I regret it every day. <laughs> I regret it every day because of everything that came after. <laughs> I just wish. I never came forward. Nationwide, nearly 750 cadets and midshipmen said in an anonymous survey they were sexually assaulted last year, but only 92 formally reported it. Accountability is the missing element in all of this. Don Christensen, a retired colonel and former Air Force chief prosecutor, says just four people accused of sexual assault at the academies last year were convicted. Each one of the academies has a three-star who oversees that. They are literally the only person who can prosecute the case. You know, they simply do not send enough people to court. And that is part of the big problem. The Pentagon says this report does not reflect the impact of prevention programs implemented last year. And Army Secretary Mark Esper says he has directed West Point's leadership to come up with an updated action plan in the coming weeks. The Air Force Academy told CBS this morning we remain committed to tackling this issue head on. We've worked diligently to create new programs, adjust existing ones in order to better serve our cadets. And let me tell you, we are going to stay on this. Because to me, when I met those women who are the best and the brightest, the toughest women I have ever met, the fact that they were assaulted, harassed, and then put through it again by our service academy chiefs, generals who are in charge, is simply unacceptable. We need the best people in our services to serve and, and it looks have like, the right to serve. And it looks like we're going to hear more pressure from Congress as yes. well that heads need a role. The gap between those who've experienced it and those who've been able to report it is just, it's vast. Oh my it's God. vast. And so I do, I do give the Pentagon a lot of props for being open and transparent mm -hmm. about this, for having an anonymous survey so we, they can try and address this problem. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Nora.